Hello guys, so August 28th, Monday today. So what happened in the history in, in this particular day, uh, we'll quickly see. So you can uh, first solve a question, okay, which came in 2017 prelims, okay, UPSC 2017. A little bit uh, difficult question, a static GK question you can tell, but history related, okay. The Factories Act 1881 was passed with a view to fix the wages of industrial workers and to allow the workers to form trade unions. This is the first statement. Second one, N.M. Lokhande was a pioneer in organizing the labor movement in British India. So this is a uh, first statement is directly given in your spectrum, but the second one was not directly given, even though mentions are there and in newspaper, his name keep, kept on coming. That is the reason it was asked in the UPSC prelims. Okay. So here uh, the first one is a uh, leave common sensically. If you think, okay, common sensically, this is wrong because uh, they will not allow the workers to form trade unions or any, anything which can later become a threat to the British. Uh, they won't allow. Okay. In 1881, we are talking. So that is the reason if you know that at least, if you know that at least uh, you can know statement one is wrong and uh, this person, okay, it's actually uh, not Narayan Meghaji uh, Lokhande, he actually was the pioneer of organizing labor movement and has established many things. So, our second statement is correct and answer will be two only. Okay, answer is two uh, only uh, in, in, in this particular question and the explanation is also given here in the form of notes. So, the first factory act was formed in 1881 under uh, Lord Rippon. Okay. And then uh, factory commission was appointed in 1885. Uh, this act was to improve the working condition of labor, uh, prohibited the employment of children under the age of seven. Major decision was taken to limit the number of working hours for children below the age of 12. Factory act of 1881 had a provision of one hour rest during the working period. Okay, and it made compulsory that dangerous machinery should be fenced properly, but there is no mention of trade union anywhere. Okay, so that is why statement one is incorrect. And now N.M. Lokhande, as I told, he worked in uh, uh, to improve the conditions of the textile workers and the mill workers and all. He even established something called the Bombay Mill Hands Association in 1890. And uh, he is also called the father of Indian workers movement. These are all expected questions in the upcoming years. So please make a note of all this. Second statement is correct. Okay, so now why I told all these things because today's day is significant. Okay, so there is something related to the uh, labor movement or the trade unions kind of concept. There is an importance today on August 28. Okay, so let me quickly go there. If you see here, the first important thing is, you know, Hyder Ali, Hyder Ali, uh, the like uh, Tipu Sultan was there before him. There was Hyder Ali and uh, he fought the battle of this uh, Pali law against the British army. On this particular date in 1781 okay you know after that back to back anglo mysore wars and everything was there and this also is part of anglo mysore war and by the time of like 1799 i think tipu sultan also died and uh, the four anglo mysore uh, war got over okay so that and all inspector i have taught you in detail so this uh, one battle which hyderali started uh, against the british army this was in uh, this particular date okay 1781 then 1870 as i told the very first trade union of india called the Shramjivi Sangh. This is not there correctly in any proper textbooks and all. It is also called, if you see here, the Working Men's Club. Okay, it's like a club. So officially, it doesn't have any recognition of as a trade union because in your textbooks, in your textbooks, if you see uh, this one, if you see, I'll show you one minute. Madras Labor Union. Madras Labor Union established in 1918 by B.P. Vadia is widely regarded as the first officially recognized trade union. Okay, but unofficially, a movement or a club kind of thing was formed for the workers. That was by this particular uh, Sashipada Banerjee, who was the leader of Brahmo Samaj, which uh, Raja Ramon Roy was involved. So he uh, formed an organization called the Working Men's Club, and that is the first unofficial trade union of India. Okay, so this term, Sramjeevi Sangh, in case UPSC want to trouble you, they will ask you about that person or about the Brahmo Samaj or any club name in Calcutta, location, anything. Okay, but officially, it is Madras Labor Union in 1918 by PM uh, BP Vadia and widely regarded as the first one. And also that is union trade. Now union trade federation is there. Okay, little more bigger kind of thing. That is the meaning it has branches. It is All India Trade Union Congress. That is the AITUC, which even now it is there. So that is formed in 1920. That is the first union trade uh, federation you can tell. Okay, so then uh, uh, these are the important things of trade union thing. Now next one, 1864, the first Geneva Convention governed the rules of war. Okay, Geneva Convention, you should know it's about the war victims and the war crisis and all these things. We have rules. So Geneva Convention, the first ever Geneva Convention was governed on the, uh, and participated signed by 26 nations on august 28 1864 okay then august 28 1986 okay Sri. this person became the first woman to become a grandmaster in chess okay grandmaster in chess means uh, chess uh, the highest 
uh, title you can get in chess tournament is grandmaster in chess okay so that uh, thing now in india around 83 83 grandmasters are there in which around 25 or 30 are i think women so uh, now it's a, it's not a big thing and all but first ever uh, woman to become uh, the, this thing okay you know achievement that time it is uh, bagesri 1986 okay now we have you know excellent i already explained yesterday's editorial our four chess players young boys were there in the final eight in the world cup okay world chess championship so uh, that is why this is a historical thing then again 2008 august 28 uh, barack obama became the first african american to be named as the presidential candidate by a large american party okay even though in small parties and all some people were there a presidential candidate from a large party you know usa has only democrats and republics okay two party democrats is the one where obama is there republics is the one where uh, this uh, trump and uh, people are there so uh, first big party telling an african american person to be a presidential candidate was a historical thing which happened on august 28 2008 so this is the uh, this is the happenings of today okay so hope you learned a lot of things including that mcq which i showed you like this hundreds and thousands of mcqs and notes are there in all our uh, test pdfs which you can enroll as individual packs or as combo packs which you see on screen you just have to whatsapp me in this number and i will take it forward okay so please do this every day watch our videos every day uh, use our materials our quizzes are going on free of cost in our community tab it's completely free on youtube okay only these materials are uh, costly paid ones so just uh, message me whatsapp i'll take it forward thank you and have a nice day